Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? It's Friday. Hope everyone's got some big plans this weekend. Good morning, Phil, Mike, Joe, B, John. How you doing? Ed, good morning. Hey, Seiko, Larry, Bob, John. Glad you guys all can make it here. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Okay. What do we have? We've got a market that's sort of sort of going crazy, sort of on fire. Um, you know, let, let's let's please don't lose sight that uh, this this uh, little rally we're having uh, could be temporary. It really could be. Hey, good morning, Julie. Yeah, let, let's let's uh, yeah, let's not lose sight of that. OK. Um, when, if you look at the weekly chart, weekly chart, we'll, we're still pretty much in a downtrend. Um, I know that it, it yeah, we're, we're pretty much in a downtrend. If we connect these, um, these candles up here and then come down to the next connecting candles, that would be here, you can see we're very much in a downtrend. Now, that, I mean, we could easily move up to this area, so... I don't know, something, you know, it's going to move up like this. I doubt it's going to go straight up. So something like that, maybe. So we maybe another 3%, and then we run into uh, this um, resistance line here. So we really do have to be careful here. Be a little cautious. Um, but in the meantime, let's keep our eye on the ball and, and, and play the ball. That, that's what we want to do. And right now, we're in a uh, nice bullish relief rally. Um, all right, let's take a look at some charts, um, and, and then we'll see if we have any time left, okay? Um, let, let's start with uh, Visa here. So um, what I like to do is I put charts on a watch list that I think have some potential, and then I wait for them to trigger based on certain things, such as, uh, the overall market condition would be one thing and setting up in the right uh, entry would be another thing and right now the market is is right okay not a problem there right now other than it's Friday and I don't know how many positions I'm gonna hold over fr over the weekend um, hopefully only a few not a lot so uh, the next thing I'm gonna look for because we've already passed you know, one obstacle, so check mark. Now I'm looking for an entry area, and I like in, entering, uh, we can talk, and we'll talk about it more today in the trading rooms, is 3H trap area, so in this area right here. This is what I'll be looking for. And right now I see Visa um, going to 233.90. Now, with that said, there are certainly obstacles speed bumps, little landmines on the way. Uh, I'm not going to do this with every chart, otherwise we're going to be here a long time. We can do it, you know, after the market opens up uh, here in the room. But just simply go look at those highs, and that is potential uh, areas where price might get a little scared away, also potential profit targets. So while I see this as my trade area, there are definitely little bumps along that way so careful with that VLO now we we've, we've I think a lot of us here have traded VLO on and off here recently and you some may still be in it I'm seeing a um, VLO move up here toward the 13675 area 1 134 134 maybe 135 and what that will do will give us approximately a 21 22 percent. Uh, profit if you know bought now and held all the way to that level here but in all charts you know unless you're making some all-time new highs I mean never been there before we have to look to the left a little bit and we have to find our speed bumps and there might be a speed bump right here and it also matches with the 50 period moving average doesn't mean charts gonna fail here but we need to know it's there uh, we've got this little area right here, right there. So around 128.40 after that, I think 134 up there. So um, 
Let's see. So I might look for that entry here. Heck, I might not even buy into this until it's up here. Even at this level, what are we talking, 15%? So what, what we're after is a reason to buy it. We need a good, good candle inside our buy area. And then we want it to go up. Now, I think, I think we're all grown-ups here. And I think we've all looked at charts. I hope we're all grown-ups here. So you know that charts don't go straight up like that. They're going to move up. They're going to pull back, move up, pull back, move up. And this is all about managing your trade at this level. Um, another one is NVIDIA. I like NVIDIA, what it's doing. There's, there's a lot of good stuff out there about the uh, chip charts right now. So we should take advantage of that. Um, I think NVIDIA's got an excellent bottom down here. Excellent bottom, low, high, higher, low. You got that kind of an, it's not an inverted head and shoulders, what I'm going to call this. We rally over the 50 period moving average. We test, we're showing strength. We're about to break out, or it looks like it's going to break out to a J hook continuation pattern. And if we take this level right in there up to where I think we just might go, uh, we're looking at 27%. So, um, you know, even even if the entry was up here at this high, let's do this. You're still looking at almost 18% trade here. Uh, so th these are the kind of charts that I like to put on a special watch list, wait for them to set up, and then uh, the scanner I use will alert me when they're in that setup place. Um, CLF, look at CLF. I have two targets on CLF up here at 19 and then maybe 22. Um, at 19, we're about 16, 17%. Up here, we're about 37% uh, on that. So, and it's the same thing over and over. You know, I make sure there's a good bottom. I, I want to make sure there's some future to the chart. And I see future here. So the whole entry area could be right in this area. And what would be the harm? and waiting till it moves over that 50 period moving average. So right in there, uh, let's draw another box and let's just split the middle and then go up. And that's almost a 20% move. You gotta have good looking charts. Now, to me, I think these are good looking charts. To somebody else, you might not like them, but I like these. And then you have to wait for them to come to you, wait for them to set up for you. And not only do we want the charts setting up, we want the market in the right position as well. That's, that's very important. Check out Walmart. I'm looking for Walmart to move up to 140 and then maybe fill this gap right up here. So um, right here, all the way up. That's huge for Walmart. That's huge, 13%. Let's wait for that little bad boy. Apple. All right, everybody loves Apple. Well, almost everybody. Um, I do. 177. So it's, that's only 10%, but Apple traders, you love that. Um, so here's Apple. It had earnings yesterday. Here we had a big day here uh, three days ago. Big day today, yesterday. And now uh, we're a little consolidation. Uh, I'm not going to chase Apple. Uh, if Apple does this this morning, if it opens up and it just starts chink, 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 wherever, up, just up, may not go there, but up. I'm not going to chase it. Um, th that's just, that, that, that's, a, that's a rookie mistake in trading. Um, so with three bars up, what I'm kind of seeing is, let's do it this way. What I'm kind of seeing is let it consolidate a little. And we're going to have maybe something that looks like this. So here we are up, consolidate a little, um, maybe for a few days. And now that would set me up for my entry and a possible breakout. If Apple starts to run away, I'm not going to chase it. It just, does, just doesn't make any sense. Bad business. Uh, Netflix. I like Netflix. Just real quick, though, um, let's go look at Roku. Roku had um, 
had a stomachache last night. <laughs> Roku had a problem yes, yesterday. So, uh, you know, we might want to be a little careful with Netflix. Uh, Netflix, just out of sympathy, may do something uh, ridiculous. So we'll keep an eye on it. I like the chart. I like the way it's setting up. I love the up and then just sim simply consolidation, rally, consolidate. This is where we look for buy areas. I want to look for good target. I like that target at 322, just coming up and filling into that gap right there. And, you know, we put the entry somewhere in here. I like that. And then just trade it um, on the way up. You know, when, when, it, when the time is right to buy it, we, we pushes up. We know it's going to rest. All charts rest. Maybe that's another buy possibility. Up we go, another buy possibility. Anyway, it's about management inside this area right here. Um, Clove, how about $3.80 for Clove? That's a monster. Look at that. Four, almost, we'll call it 40% because that just sounds good. So at 40%, Look, I'm not looking at this, and, and everybody here in the room, everybody knows me. You know that if I buy this, you know that I'm not going to hold it till it moves up here. You, you guys know that. Uh, I'm all about profit-taking. So um, th there may be little uh, profit-taking points maybe here, um, you know, maybe here as we go up. And that's just the way I trade. Somebody else, you could buy that and hold it if you want. You know, as long as it continues up, that's that's going to be the key in a logical, uh, organized way. So like up, consolidate, up, consolidate, up, consolidate, up, something like that. Because we know it's going to do that. We know that, that we're going to have these pullbacks. And we know that some pullbacks are going to be more than you particularly like. But it doesn't mean that the chart can't continue up and run into that target area up there. Uh, GE is another one here, GE. Um, we've crossed that 50 period moving average. I happen to think that's a two thumbs up, great plan right now. Absolutely fa fabulous plan. I think GE is a little choppy right now, so I'm not overly interested in uh, grabbing it at the moment. I'm really not. Today, It would. It, there's almost a zero chance today I'll buy GE. Almost a zero chance. You know what? I can safely say there's a zero chance. Because here we've been up, um, we're going to count this day, bullish, one, two, three, four, four days. We need a little rest and relaxation. It's Friday. Just think about it. You know, it's done a lot of work here. So I'm looking for an entry back down in here, maybe. Maybe, maybe let's put another circle. Uh, it would be ideally maybe right in here in a few days, somewhere like that. I won't know what price because we follow price action. I'll need to see the chart pattern and then the candle that might uh, trigger an entry. So just somewhere right in here like this and then up. That's a 21% uh, trade. Be patient. Wait for the trade. And as you guys know, oh, oh, the app, make sure you have the app members here in the trading room. Um, make sure you have the app. Um, and anytime a chart is entered, uh, exited, adjusted, uh, I'll post it on that app. You'll get it in real time within five, six, seven seconds, maybe. Um, long enough for me to type it. Let, let's see, a GD, this is a nice chart, GD. Um, Moving up over the 50 period moving average, the 200 period moving average here. Uh, I'm looking for GD to maybe move up here to 249, 250, somewhere around there. That's almost a 12%. So now it's just a matter of managing your trade. Managing your trade, if you're in it. Cisco, we're also keeping an eye on Cisco. Cisco has moved over the 50 period moving average. We've got a nice little trendicator run here. Um, T-line runs looking good. This is another one that I might not be too interested today just because of the way it's acting here. We're up a couple of days and now we're back. Okay, settle down. Settle down. I'm cool with that. So we may look for, you know, a couple days down the road, something here. And that would put us up 
18, 19% maybe. And there's going to be some landmines. I mentioned that on a couple earlier charts. And all these charts have little, little landmines, little issues, little things we want to take advantage or be warned of. It's like this little resistance area right here. Anyone who doesn't think that this is going to cause a little disturbance in the price action, well, you just started trading about 10 minutes ago. Okay? It's going to cause a disturbance. Now, that disturbance can, let's say, let's just say it goes up. That disturbance can bring it down halfway, all the way, more. It could. We have to watch these areas. We have to consider some profits. Take profits when they swing up. Let it settle down, and then maybe there's a whole new trade here. If it doesn't get too radical, maybe you know hold on to that position. But uh, right now, uh, I just just expect stir turbulence. Uh, you know, something in the force, something uh, disturbance in the force. Yeah, here's PayPal. Um, how about a 58 percent? Uh, profit area here. Beautiful. Over the 50 period moving moving average. Nice little pullback here. Nice gap up. Let it consolidate. Let it rest. It is Friday. At 58%, you don't have to be in a hurry to get into this today. You really don't. Um, with a gap up, one, two, eh, I'm, I'm going to say three days because we opened up right here, pre-market. So, um, one, two, three, plus the gap. Yikes. This might need to rest a little bit. Anyway, um, I think that's, yeah, that, that's it. That's all I have uh, for today. Um, the SPY here, um, this blue line right there, it might be hard for you to see, but there's a little bit, a little bit of a line right here. That's the 500 period moving average. I think that's going to be very important for this. Whoa, what did I just do? Let's not do that. No, so I duplicated it. <laughs> oh, my day's starting off good. Delete. There we are. There we are. Put a line right here. So it's going to be important uh, to move over this line right here to keep the bulls going. Uh, going for today, okay? So um, pullbacks are normal in a trend, extremely normal. Um, and if you go look at this whole chart, you can see that it's trending up. And you can see here we start over here, low, high. We made a higher low. We didn't make a higher high, and we actually made a lower low. But the trend is still moving. The trend is still going. Um, it, the, the point of the trend here, you can see that in all trends you're going to have pullbacks. So there is a possibility that we... Pull back a little bit today. There is that possibility. We've been going pretty crazy. Um, for those that follow the T1, T2122, you can see that we're a little in the oversold area. Now, I talked about this last night at the close. I love it up here because I make more money up here. And come to find out, I asked everybody in the room, and guess what? Pretty much everybody else does too. Uh, when it's up here, that means it's rocking. It's, it's at a... It's at a danger point of maybe falling off the cliff. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool to go, go to the Grand Canyon too. But there's a danger falling off the cliff if you get too close. So you, you just have to don't, don't stand on the edge of a chart. <laughs> Pretty simple. Really, trading is nothing but a bunch of common sense. Really, that's all it is. T2123, uh, I love this chart. Um, now, this is not real time, so it doesn't show what it's doing uh, today uh, or this morning here. But you can see at the close yesterday, the hourly chart is still extremely bullish. It's at that 500 period moving average. 15-minute uh, chart is extremely bullish. Um, but it doesn't mean that it can't fall off that cliff here. So um, anyway, be a little be a little careful in the market today. All right. Take some profits. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. I see that. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, Malcolm, thank you. Uh, 
Rickster, so it's common sense. I should have listened. <laughs> yeah, we should all have listened to our mom. Thank you, Phil, very much. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, so, you know, number one, n- n- you know, do I have a minute? I've got a minute, and that's about it. Um, you know, yesterday we talked about entries, and, and, and thanks to the members and everyone asking questions, because this is what prompts some of this stuff. And uh, everybody wants to fight for an entry. Um, it, if I have, um, we're not going to do there. If, if I have one, two, three, four, five conditions I need in a chart before I trade it, I got to tell you, entry is probably the last one I'm interested in. We, we've got a red, come on. We've got a whole lot of stuff to worry about before the entry. Entry doesn't matter. Well, it does matter to some degree, but it's not the almighty. Take GE here. If there's 21% and I get it in this area, why would I care if I get it for a nickel cheaper? You know know what I mean? 21%, good grief. Are we, are we really going to try to scrape 22% out of it? That, that's not what trading is about. It truly is not. Anyway, we can talk more about that today in the room. I got to go. Everybody, thank you so very much for being here. I do appreciate it uh, a ton, an absolute ton. So we'll uh, see you all uh, in about 15 minutes, okay? Take care. Thanks.